Earl Plow Shop. Their car, 358 Modifieds are green at Can-Am. Scott Webb takes control of the race off of corner number two. Tyler Bartlett there for second. Jordan Kelly, Lucas Fuller, and Ryan Bartlett. That's your top five. Tim Fuller's making a big charge through the middle. Split the difference and picked up three spots there on Billy Dunn, Derek Webb, and the uh, 45 of Preston Forbes. They work in turns one and two. Strong race car here in 2023. On a straightaway advantage is Tyler Bartlett. One of the best runs of his career. We got cars around Fuller and Jordan Kelly all knotted up over there in turn number two. Yellow lights are on. Looks like Jordan Kelly clipped one of the implement tires over there in turn number two and got it. Green lights back on. Fuller does make it back out on the racetrack, and we'll see what happens. Oh, we got a problem in turn number two. RJ Tresetter and Lance Willix make some heavy contact. Able to keep on going. We stay green, and Scott Webb is the race leader as they bring it across the line. Lucas Fuller still there for a second. Tyler Bartlett, Preston Forbes, your top four drivers. Bartlett battling with the 28 of Jordan McCready. Bartlett having a strong night here tonight. Won his qualifying heat race earlier this evening. Now he's having it out with a winner from a couple of weeks ago, Jordan McCready, who's also having himself a whale of a year in that 28 ride. As he works the outside lane, he'll get by Bartlett to move to fifth. Tyler Bartlett drops to sixth. Ryan Bartlett seventh. Eighth is the R70 of Ryan Arbathon. Trying to that time. Couldn't quite get the job done. Jordan McCready rounds out the top five. These two drivers... Within a couple of points of each other, and within 50 points of Tim Fuller for the track championship point lead. As they work down the front straightaway, Scott Webb shows the way at lap 16. 16 laps are in the books. And Scott Webb in the winless drought, June 7, 2008. We'll find out here in four laps. We're back to green. Great restart for Scott Webb. He's able to get away from the field as they work it down the back straight away into turn number three and four. Lucas Fuller closing in. Billy Dunn closing in as well. Three to go for Webb. White flag will be displayed. White flag will be displayed this time by can Scott Webb hold on and end the winless drought that has gone on for over a decade. Final time into turn number one and two. Scott Webb out of Brownsville, New York with a five car length advantage over Lucas Fuller and Billy Dunn. The wait is over. Finally, Scott Webb is back in victory lane at Can-Am. Lucas Fuller second, Billy Dunn. Jordan McCready. Preston Forbes, your top five.